Yes, you are still on to the Daybreak Africa. It's a lovely day, a Merry Christmas Day, and uh, we want to talk about uh, the happenings in Christmas and uh, the relevance of Christmas uh, today. What is the reasons behind uh, this Christmas celebration? And so we have uh, on the phone to discuss this uh, with us today, a Reverend Pastor, Reverend Gabriel uh, uh, Denekon. You know, a very young man, but uh, enterprising in his uh, way as a preacher. And so he'll be discussing with us uh, today. So, uh, Merry Christmas, sir. Blessed field morning to everyone in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I welcome everyone. Thank you. Thank you for joining us Thank this morning. Thank you so much, you, uh, sir. So, um, I, I, I want to ask you now, as a pastor, you know, I'm sure this morning is a lovely morning that uh, everybody looks forward to, you know, at going to churches and uh, doing a whole lot of uh, celebration. It is always a time for giving. It's a time for every other thing. So, um, we want to know, or people out there will want to know, what is actually the reasons behind uh, Christmas? And, I mean, what is all about it? Uh, to the glory of God, Christmas is celebrated to remember the birth of Jesus Christ, who Christians believe is the Son of God, as of today. Now, now uh, do you really think that um, no, there are so many um, people with different beliefs, like you said, you, you just said your own uh, kind of... Um, version for the um, Christmas celebration but definitely there are different people with different beliefs okay this is what Christmas um, really is this is what Christmas really is so can you really really tell us what it really entails uh, uh, some people uh, believe that yes it's just uh, celebrating the birth of Jesus but people don't really know what really really surrounds um, that celebration um, truly so can you kind of give us a, a, a deep uh, meaning of what Christmas really is. Okay, thanks, beloved. Yeah. Uh, to the glory of God, celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ is more than a Christian holiday or Christian festival. It is more than an occasion to decorate our houses. Mm -hmm. It is an opportunity to pause and give thanks to the love, hope, and joy found in Jesus Christ, which as is our Savior and friend. Mm. And so, and so, sir, um, there are so many activities out there, and you know, mm. people most times uh, they look forward to just going to meet family members or going to meet friends, or even some of them think it is a time for relationship gathering. You know, you see, that is when the girlfriend uh, tends to click with the boyfriend. The boyfriend seems that is the time to meet with the girlfriend, and so. A whole lot of people seem to probably get it wrong or it is right in their own settings. So for you, a preacher, uh, saying it is a time for us uh, to actually, uh, it is a time to celebrate our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, but a whole lot of other people there who are not also Christians are celebrating Christmas. So what is the reasons behind it all? The culture, the tradition, and the people itself on, on this level. Uh, there are many reasons, uh, as of today, to the glory of God. Mm. Then one, by creating tradition and building memories. Then spreading the message of love and compassion. Commemorating the birth of Jesus Christ according to uh, Paul Apostle in the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter number 2, mm. from verse 5 to 15. He tells us and made us to understand that we, uh, we need to share love not only for those that have. We have to share love to both male and female, elders and young. So we need to rejoice and celebrate with everyone. Uh, uh, sharing love, sir, um, I would like to, uh, a, a little bit of portrait there, because I did mention that a whole lot of persons uh, think it is a, re a relationship period. You know, girls going out or young ladies going out to meet uh, men out there for illicit affairs uh, just because they feel it is a celebration moment and they can have 
anything they want at that time. So um, the sharing of love now, in, in mm -hmm. what category are you placing it, sir? Okay. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate this question. Uh, when we are talking about love, concerning this Christmas, it, it indicates to help those that, that need help. Not girlfriend going to boyfriend's house by having fun, by sleeping with each other. No, this Christmas is not, for, is not meant for that. This Christmas, to show love, is to help those that are in need of support or help. Mm. This Christmas is for those that, that are, uh, those that are weeping, those that are happy. They have the chance, this moment, to wipe away their sorrow tears and put smile to their face. This season is meant for those that, that they have more than enough to assist those that they did not have anything at all. But today, there are some people, they will be saying that uh, this, uh, Brother David, for instance, Brother David must bow down for me before I help him. No, this season is not meant for that. We have to, we need to have a mind of giving wholeheartedly, not by force. Mm. That's just this. All right. All right, um, still on, um, we're talking about the birth of Jesus, um, beliefs and all of that. Talking about belief, there are some uh, Christians who do not believe in the celebration of Christmas. We have some, mm. um, we have some, shall I say, them, some doctrines now who will say um, mm. Christmas celebration is not biblical, mm. Christmas celebration is um, evil, there is nothing, um, there is nothing that points to Christmas celebration uh, in the Bible. Now, what, what would you say about this? Do you think that, um, uh, do you think that they don't really know uh, much about this or they have not really understood what it is really to um, celebrate the birth of Jesus? Mm, about that, uh, it depends on faith. In John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave all his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in me shall never perish but have everlasting life. Mm. There are some Christians they saw those verses in the Bible, but they turned it upside down. Hmm. But today, to the glory of God, if you have faith in Christ, because there are some people that didn't have faith in Christ, talking of God. But today, if the Lord can minister to you by, 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 by having the heart of believing through Christ, you will truly celebrate this Christmas festival. There are some people, I heard one of my people as a Christian, they are saying that uh, uh, it is an idol. Hmm. This season is not the matter of idol. It is what we believe on through John 3, 16, that Christ is the Lord. And we are celebrating his birth. That's the other thing. Uh, so, so, sir, um, I, I want to uh, take you back to what you said about uh, it is time for giving, it is time for love, it is time when the have plenty gives to the have not. Now, mm -hmm. I want to talk about uh, where does the church lie in this? Because the church uh, is the home for everybody. As I, maybe that's my personal belief. It's a home for everybody that you have to come to. So, where does the church come in in this? Mm, to the glory of God, when uh, in the first place, in the I think is uh, First John chapter five, it made us to understand due to during the uh, Jesus Christ uh, regime, he has uh, disciples, so they are preaching from one place to another. And also, during in the book of John, chapter number 12, verse 21, made us to understand better about it. 
We need to share love with all people, with everyone. It is not a matter of tribalism, not at all. Yeah. Share love to everyone. Not just only Christians, not just only Muslims or traditionally. No, not at all. Mm. That's the stuff. All right. So, uh, since talking on <laughs> the controversies, uh, beliefs, and all of that, over the years, while um, I was growing, uh, there were this uh, kind of uh, controversies on the particular date of celebration. Some will um, come out with the um, with the mindset of uh, how were you sure that uh, Jesus was giving birth to on the 25th of December? Was there a kind of committee that sat down to say that, okay, uh, this is a particular date that Jesus um, um, uh, was giving birth to. Why are we celebrating Christmas on 25th of December? Why not maybe August? Why not maybe um, January? Is there any place in the Bible that says Jesus was giving birth to on the 25th of January? Now, what is your opinion about this? Okay, thank you, ma'am. The real reason for the selection of December 25th seems to have been that it is exactly nine months after March 25th. Mm. Mm. The traditional date of Jesus' crucifixion has Christian developed the theological ideal that Jesus was conceived the crucified on the same day. Mm. They said the date of his birth nine months later. Mm. To the glory of God, we can see that in the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter number 5, made us to understand better about it. That's just it. Oh, okay, uh, sir, so I, 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 I really want us to look at uh, this very critically. The Asians, uh, like the Chinese people, I think they usually have a, what they call uh, the lunar uh, celebration or something that's their new year and then they have that kind of celebration then the Indians they have uh, different kinds of celebration and then they have a celebration that uh, gathers them so does it mean that um, you know Africa Europe and America are just the people who you know are found celebrating the term Christmas uh, as of today most, uh, there are some countries that celebrated the Christmas on the 25th. Yes, as of today. There are many countries that they have their own personal date by celebrating Christmas. Mm. But in our own case, in Nigeria here, we are celebrating it on the 25th, based on counting from March 25th. It's more surely tally to the December 25th. So, Many countries have their own date of celebration of the Christmas. Okay, okay. Now let's move to the economic situation of the uh, country as it is now. Uh, there are so many people um, in, uh, should I say, in uh, that that are just trying to manage uh, the, their cells. They are just trying to manage um, to eat. So there are so many people that find it difficult to hit um, three, square me three square meals. There are so many people that find it difficult to feed their families. So many people live from hand to mouth with the current situation of the economy. Uh, should we talk about the price of uh, food stuff? Should we talk about um, the hike in transportation and all of that? Now, how, how do you think we can kind of convince these people that uh, this um, celebration is uh, really worthwhile because there are some people that will believe that oh no the jesus came to die for uh, uh my sins jesus came to uh, uh make everything better for me and why is this really happening to us how do you think we can kind of convince these people to celebrate um the birth of jesus no matter the condition mm -hmm. Mm, what happened there is that uh, as of today, we all know what is going on in the country now. And we, you will understand, we agree with me that many people are really suffering yes, concerning uh, eating. 
But as of today, the Lord brethren in Christ, as the children of God, with the little that you have, with the little that you have, it's not a matter of having many or much. Mm. You may not have the grace or opportunity to visit your family or friends. Mm. You may have someone around you, maybe your friends in, 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 your, uh, in your environment, even in, in the same compound. There are many people suffering around us. Definitely. So you can never have anybody around you that you know that he, he or she needs that thing at the appropriate time. Don't wait for such person to come to you. Go and share love with such a person. Mm. By doing that, God will surely reward such person. Mm. And so what you're trying to say in effect is that... Uh, you know, um, even with uh, the economic uh, situation, that's the present economic situation, people should actually just go out there and uh, make their loves or their selves felt in the lives of other people. And that's the way you, you feel, okay, uh, maybe it, it, the, the situation will not be so heavy on some persons. Mm. Mm, I really appreciate this question. Then, once again, as of today, beloved, I hear that plea to those that the Lord has helped. I plead to those that the Lord has answered the call. You, you yourself, you know yourself that you have more than enough. And please, share love to others by assisting them in one way or the other. There are many people that are suffering, really, really suffering. I may not have the opportunity to have three meals in a day. But I know that some people have more than enough. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about ritualists. As of today, there are some people that they still have more than enough, apart from ritualists. So what I'm saying in essence is that if the Lord help you, that you have more than enough, at least, even as of today, as a, uh, as a pastor or shepherd in the vineyard, there are most of our members that they have more than enough, but they can't give. Mm. But we are speaking to them, and some of them, to the glory of God as of today, they are changing gradually, and things are becoming good and better. Mm. And I believe someone is hearing my voice this morning, and the Lord has deposited into his or heart to give, to show love and respect to others and everyone. God bless you. Thank you so much. All right, um, let's, uh, let's kind of dive a, 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 a little. We have um, the situation of insecurity mm. in the country, uh, kidnappings, mm. uh, killings, almost every day we, we hear reports almost every day just uh, recently we heard about um, a particular uh, band a particular musical band uh, that was kidnapped although um, they have they, they have regained uh, their freedom mm -hmm. now what message do you have for people out there people who have um, people who have uh, gone through these people who have um, who have families that have been kidnapped some of them uh, they, 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 they can't see them again some of them have not been seen for a while some of them have lost hope though some have regained freedom what um, message do you have for people out there amidst um, the insecurity in the country even during the Christmas celebration mm, to the glory of God it is written in the book of Matthew chapter number 25 verse 46. Read out God. And this I go away to everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. Mm. I'm sorry to use this word. All our leaders as of today, they know what to do. Yes, they know what to do. But what I will just say, I will plead to God on the behalf of those that are in bondage. I decree by the mandate of heaven, the Lord will surely release them mm -hmm. and give them freedom, total freedom. Because as our country today, we have to be extremely, extraordinarily careful 
all our leaders, they are, they, they are just, uh, they, they are caring for their own family alone. And there are some people, they are in bondage of the kidnapping or killing or ritually. They know what to do. Even some of them, some of our leaders, they are among them. Yes, but God that knows everything will surely expose them. Amen. They will, sh they will never go scot free. Even because how can someone be suffering, be crying bitterly, and some people will be out there rejoicing, mm. spending money lavishly, destroying another family's life, and you are rejoicing here. Nobody will never go unpunished. But if you have the art of giving mm. with the little that, Lord, that the Lord gave to you, you will surely enjoy all what the Lord has provided for you. Mm. So it is written in the book of Exodus 34, verse 10. <laughs> it will surely happen. Mm. But those that the Lord loves will surely be escaped. Thank you so much. With you. Thank you. All right. Um, uh, like we said earlier, uh, Christmas, like you said, rather, Christmas is a season uh, for, of giving. If you have, you give. Now, uh, it's a season to love. It's a season to forgive <laughs> those that have offended you. It's a season to give. Mm -hmm. Now, let's direct this to the church of God. Now, there are so many, um, there are different people now who come together to serve and worship um, the Lord, different people with different uh, mindsets, different people with um, uh, different goals. Now, now in the church now, uh, you see that um, you see people with should I should I say uh, people with a kind of different mind that okay, if I if I ha I can have and I cannot uh, and I cannot give you, there is nothing that can happen. You you offended me and I cannot forgive you because I am human and all of that. So there there also we see people who can give their last uh, penny to others. There also you see people who uh, who have been offended and immediately they forgive such person now what's your message to the church because the church um uh the church cannot stand without uh people now what's your message to the church to the people out there uh during this um, season mm. Because Thank definitely you. it's not just to uh, attend church it's not just to just go and listen mm. to the word it's definitely more than that mm, concerning that ma it shows in the book of Psalm 55 verse 11 says your crown the year with your goodness your path overflow with rich food mm. dear beloved that you are hearing this telecast there are many Christians as of today. There are Christians and there are Christians. Yeah. It depends on how you meet the Lord. It depends on how you have your faith. It depends on how you give your life to Christ. There are many Christians as of today. They are lay readers, lay preacher, evangelists, even man of God. They are having extra gold mm. aside from God. Mm. When the Lord told us not to have another God, except him. But God has asked you what? Because the Lord said, let both, uh, let everything develop together. Let everything grow together. At the end of the journey, they will surely be separated. So at the judgment day, I, I wonder how the judgment, judgment day will be. Mm -hmm. I used to cry this early. With all what is happening around us, I wonder how the judgment day will be. Mm. As a man of God, as the church of God, there is no love anymore. Out of 100%, just only, I can say, uh, just only 5%, out of 100%, they are showing love to others. But uh, I'm pleading to everyone now that are hearing my voice this morning, please, let Accept Jesus into our life. If you accept Jesus into your life, every all other things 
will be easy for you to do. But if you have the mind huh, of our uh, uh, action, if you have the mind of soul, if you have the mind of properness, of proper your friends or family, my brother, to offend Jesus will be very hard. For truly, Christ is alive. I want you to know that. For oh. sure, that truly, Christ is alive. Mm-hmm. In as much you have Jesus in your life, every other thing will be easy for you to do. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Lastly, before we go, uh, what's your message to the government? Yes, uh, because um, definitely in this type of situation, this type of economic uh, uh, situation, we also have to uh, plead with mm. the government mm. to uh, kind of, uh, even though God will ease the affairs of his people, the government still has a lot to do. And what's your message to the government during this period? Mm. Dear beloved brethren in Christ, most especially our leader of our today, I want you to join in our future. What is happening around us? Hmm. It is good here. I think to all our leader to please assist our youth. Our youth is suffering out there. All our elders are suffering out there. All the pensioners, they are suffering out there. No job, no food. Our government, president, and local government are gone and so forth. Please show us mercy. There is no food. There are, there are some of them that are that are out of giving, but there are no more. Mm. If you can give to others, it will reach all. Our friends and family, we are suffering as a cash, uh, cashless policy as of today on our own personal money. Not that government is getting off. We are still suffering. Their beloved elders and those that are in power as of today, if you have the act of giving, the Lord will surely make a way for you. That thing that you have been bothering, that you have been crying, because most of our leaders, they are crying for many things. We are just seeing them that they have more than enough. They are crying bitterly. But if, if you can share love to others, that suffering will surely come to an end because Christ is love. God has a purpose for everything, and God knows about every journey. And at the end, we will surely rejoice. All over Nigeria and all over the continent, that you are hearing my voice, do lose hope. God knows how he does his thing. Just believe in God, do his will, working on his commandment, and he will surely make a way for everyone in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, thank you so, much, you so uh, much, uh Reverend Gabriel Adeneko. Uh for your time. Uh, you know, it is great listening to you and I'm sure a lot of people will take this uh, very seriously that you believe in God, uh, uh, look up to God and everything will be all right. Uh, uh, Merry Christmas again to you, uh, sir. And thank you Acknowledge. for your time. Thank you for being with us. Acknowledge, sir. Acknowledge, ma'am. And so that's the interview segment. Uh, we'll go for a very short break now and we'll be right back.